My name is Byung Min. I'm a PhD student at Rothamsted Research at the University of East Anglia. My project is being funded by the BBSRC, and my work is looking at investigating the lipid composition of wheat to improve bread making quality. Bread is a major staple in our diets, and it constitutes around one fifth of all the calories that we consume on a daily basis. In the UK alone, the bread making industry is worth £3.4 billion every single year, and we produce 12 million loaves of bread a day. Lipids are substances which are insoluble in water. These include things such as fats and oils. And although lipids are a minor component of the wheat grain, making up only 2 or 2.5% of it, it plays a crucial role on bread making quality. As the dough is formed and as it gets aerated, air bubbles are trapped within the dough. As carbon dioxide is released, these gas bubbles expand. And lipids play a crucial role in stabilizing these bubbles to make sure that they don't overexpand or merge together. Due to the important effects that lipids have, industry has to add external lipids in order to make sure that their bread making quality is high. If we did not have this lipid stability mechanism, we would not have our spongy structure. We would literally just have a brick. At the early part of my project, I investigated how genes and environment could help affect the lipid composition in wheat. Afterwards, we worked on a new wheat population, which was developed from crossing two good bread-making wheat varieties, Malacca and Harrowwood. This wheat population was very important due to the fact that it had multiple gene regions for bread-making quality. These gene regions are called QTLs, which stand for quantitative trait loci. From this population, we developed new samples which would have the same genetic background as each other, which would only differ genetically in the gene region which was for bread making quality. This is important as it allows us to claim that any differences that we see in the lipid composition could be attributed to this gene region. After we identify lipid differences, we'll move on to do biophysical analysis. This will include experiments such as measuring the surface tension or the elasticity of our gas bubbles. This is important as this will help us claim that these lipid differences are providing these functional benefits. In the future, we would probably like to investigate these gene regions further and hopefully even pinpoint individual genes that control lipid composition. When this is all done, the best way to prove that these differences are having an effect on bread making quality is to perform baking trials at the end, which we will do if we have enough material. Overall, in my research, we are hoping to bring together genetic, biophysical, and lipidomic analysis to provide new ways of identifying bread making quality. Not only will this project help improve bread making quality, but a better understanding of these gene regions should allow breeders to have a better idea on how to improve their breeding programs. Also, this improved intrinsic wheat lipid composition should allow, allow industry to potentially add less external fats to their baking process. Although these changes may seem small, due to the sheer volume of bread that we produce and consume on a daily basis, these small changes can potentially have big differences.